to me, th this is new and, and this is brazen. What, what we at least saw with that first uh, Chinese balloon, um, again, I, I think there's still uncertainty about what those other three objects were. Uh, but hey, nations spy on each other. Um, balloons have been used for years to collect weather information, to do research. Um, what's particularly brazen about you know what we've seen over the last week is um, that first balloon, it's a pretty big balloon, you know, 200 feet, 20 stories tall, uh, equipment underneath it that's been reported to be the size of two to three buses. Um, that's hard not to miss. Uh, and when it's being flown directly over the American heartland uh, uh, and violating sovereign airspace, um, that, that's a big deal. There's some really fascinating stories about this kind of aerial reconnaissance aspect in the Cold War when you're talking about the Soviet Union, um, you know, looking at the U.S. And, and vice versa. The U.S. was doing all kinds of wacky things like spoofing electronic signals to see if the Soviets would lock on to us, you know, and if they did, you know, how, you know, what types of signals were they using and can we intercept those signals and, um, you know, they would fly this is a big part i mentioned drones in vietnam earlier a big part of what drones were doing was not just taking pictures they were doing that too but they would fly into an enemy radar purposely get get it to lock onto them so they could see you know how good do we have to fly how detectable does our aircraft have to be for the soviet defenses to be able to see us 